The title of this book is The Feathered Journal or The Journal of Arthur Artemis. This journal or book is involved with the Eagle's Peak Quest and it can be reobtained in one's player owned house after completion of this quest. The Journal of Arthur Artemis. We're all set for the raid on the Gnome Stronghold tomorrow. They must have something good in a place that well defended. We'll sneak over the West River while the gnomes are watching some big gnome ball match, whatever that is. This time Armin won't be bringing his pet Quebec. That thing caused nothing more than trouble last time. The start to the so-called gnome ball match appears to have been delayed. Some sort of rubbish about bad light. Looks like we're stuck waiting here for now. Going to kill Armin. He's assured me his cabot was tied up safely. We were lucky to escape with our lives, especially Davy, who got his foot caught in a rabbit hole whilst running away. Those long-eared pests seem to get everywhere. Currently hiding in a cave in the low mountains, the only loot we managed to grab was a bag of refreshments from the gnome ball pitch. There'd better be something good in there. I could eat a camel right now. Gnomes are still looking for us outside. Might be in here for a while. Fortunately, this cave system seems to go a lot deeper than we originally thought. Although some of the noises coming from the darker areas concern me slightly. Barker has been playing with his mechanisms as per usual. He thinks he can rig up something to hide the cave entrance. Is this what dwarves do when they get bored? Arben said he saw some kind of giant bird. I'm skeptical, although this place does give me the creeps. Gnome food again today. Worms, however they're cooked, get boring after a while. Okay, we all saw the birds this time. Typically, Armin insists he can tame them. That guy is animal crazy. Gnomes seem to have stopped looking for us, although with Barker's hidden entrance, this would be a good place to stash loot. Armin tried roping one of the eagles today, got dragged halfway to Alcarid apparently. Barker seems to have taken the hideout idea to heart and is now designing an inner door. A mysterious old man turned up today. Not sure how he got in. Kept pestering us until eventually Davy spoke to him, at which point he offloaded a load of spinadrols onto us, then left. Grief, Barker's door design is contrived. Not sure I'll be able to open it myself. However, Armin still insists that we'll be able to be use the eagles to get in and out. First attempt at using the eagles in a raid today gave me the fright of my life. Armin guided the eagle over our Doyen market, managed to catch some loaves with a fishing net. We'll be eating well tonight, at least compared to recently. Barker has completed two of apparently three parts of the puzzle for his second door. I'm sure he'd be making quicker progress if Armin's cabot didn't keep getting in the way. That mysterious old man has turned up again. We don't have time for this, quite frankly, so we're just going to ignore him. After all, what could he possibly... And the story cuts there. So we've reached the end of the Feathered Journal. Hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of an allusion to back when random events were mandatory because according to the lore even the NPCs of the game have to deal with randoms. Well, see you soon with the next one. Peace guys.